Captain and Tangela too. And our host, Vincent Van Dahl. And he brings it to ya! Creature features! And all creatures! Welcome to Creature Features. The cheeky little minx over to this side is my silent but deadly muse, Tangella. And the well-dressed bloke over here, who seems to have grown far too tall for his own hair, is the major domo of our lovely Polter Mansion, the esteemed Mr. Livingston. And I, of course, am your merry host of the macabre and Pez dispenser of other weird stuff, your friend and possible relative, Vincent Van Dahl. And do we have a gloriously spectacular program in store for you tonight? First up, we shall screen a film that is one of our viewers' most favorites, yet for which we have not presented in almost three years. The low-budget cult classic, Milpitas Monster, from 1976. This fabulous film has been one of our favorites and revolves around a giant monster that evolves out of a city rubbish yard, only to wreak havoc upon the good people of Milpitas which I might mention happens to only be a mere 170 kilometers from where I stand at this very moment in Bodega Bay. If you haven't seen this film yet, we have no doubt that you and even your smallest children will enjoy it. You might even describe it as California Kaiju. It is only genuine Kaiju if it comes from the film studio region in Tokyo. Anything else is merely sparkling monster movie. Is that true? I had no idea. Wait, did Livingston just make a joke? Ha ha! My goodness, old bean! There's hope for you yet! Hmm. Tangela says that she has stumbled upon him more than once in the craft room, viewing old Monty Python episodes on PBS. Tell me, Livingston, have you experienced any inexplicable desires to become a lumberjack? I'm okay. That you are, old bean! And joining us for the broadcast of this San Francisco Bay Area blockbuster will be the creators of the movie, Mr. Robert Pearl and Sir Stephen Wathen. They'll tell us about what was involved in making this amateur film, discuss the impact it has had on monster movies in general, and creature features in particular, and also show us some impressive props from the movie that are now officially antiques, being that they are at least 46 years old. So don't go away! For it is to be another night of giant rubbish monster fright, right here on Creature Features. Stay tuned. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. Welcome to Creature Features. You know, I, I, I have to welcome them because if I don't welcome them to the show, they're going to turn it on thinking that they were reaching Saturday Night Live and they're going to say, who in God's name is this horrid bloke on my television? No. So uh, anyways, Saturday Night Creature Features, uh, we are doing Milpitas Monster tonight with our friends Robert Burl and Stephen Wathen, both heavily involved in it. And Robert, I, you know, I don't know how many movies you've done since then, but I know Stephen has done 10 million, at least. Oh, at least. At least 10 million films. And we're going to talk about some of the films he's done. We're going to talk about this movie. You're going to give us the entire spiel on this film, right? Wow, that's a lot. That's a big story. Well, you know, you know, this film is quite famous in the Bay Area. 
and has made a little bit of fame going eastward, but uh, you know, we think we're going to make it famous worldwide, right? There's a lot of jackets yeah. out there. That's There's sure. somebody in Peru who has never seen the Milpitas monster, and we're hoping he's going to see it tonight. At least we're going to try. At least, at least five people in Peru. We'll find out. Anyways, uh, how, how you blokes been? It's been a long time. It's been almost three years. It's, time goes by when you're having fun. Have you been having fun? I have been having fun. Lots of time to think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, getting ready for lots of good ideas. And it's, uh, it's fun to keep the kid, the, the child in you. You know, you have fun. You don't want to lose your childhood. Now, you do trains, if I, I recall. I do have a hobby with trains. My Is it like big my, trains, right? They're G-scale garden railroad trains with real... G-scale. So, so just give me an idea of how G big... G for giant or jazz, right. a 45 millimeter track diameter. Oh, you're speaking in metric. That's my language, I think. So, so for everyone at home, how wide would the track be? Oh, it's only that much. 45 millimeters, I guess that's it. That's it. Yeah, it's pretty small. All right. All but right. when you photograph it with the right angle, it looks very, very good. They use them oh, for can special be impressive. effects. It's right, just, right. No, G they scale probably, is used. No, Back to the Future 3. <laughs> okay. Right? No, they use I'll the I'll ask the expert here. He'll, he is an expert. And, yes, and you, sir, have you been uh, staying in retirement or have you creeped back into special well, effects? I've, I've been doing a lot of stage work. So I've been designing oh, stage one, scenery. You know, it's more difficult than doing the film and the video because yes. it's it has to work yes. at that <laughs> moment. There's no, there's no retake. There's no, oop, cut, let's try that again. And at the moment, I'm working on a stage production of Les Miserables. Oh, so. wonderful. So what kind of effects would you be doing? Well, there's basically I'm in the show is in Fremont. So I'm uh, building Paris in the 18th century. Oh, you're making a miniature. Well, I'll stop when I get to Milpitas. Right. No, I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you at all. All right. So uh, let's say we start this film. And then when we come back, you're going to show us some of these. Pro they brought all kinds of things from this film. Yeah, to show a few, us a few tonight. things. Yes. A few things. Right. All right, so let's start the film. Uh, don't go away, don't go away. And I'm going to stay here, and you guys don't go away either. Don't even go to the bathroom, because you do not have time. Movie starting right now. Bye. Milpitas, 1890, a small and humble community in Northern California, rich in friendly people and natural resources. Its very name means land of a thousand gardens, a rich, fertile land. But as in all developing communities, Milpitas soon developed growing pains. By the 20s, many fashions come and go. The automobile becomes the new toy of a progressive society. Milpitas grows and flourishes, and with its growth, a slight inconvenience. The rich, fertile soil and an abundance of clear water rapidly establishes as the breadbasket of California, Milpitas. Then, the 1930s, Milpitas acquires political strength. A new deal sweeps the country. As a new political platform races through the nation, it rapidly becomes known, as goes Milpitas, so goes the state. But even with a breadbasket, there must also be a waste basket. As the wind of politics change, so do those of nature, and man's own waste returns to haunt him. Garbage waste, stockpiling, growing, expanding, mushrooming. By the 70s, man's own refuse begins to strain the very bowels of the earth. Untended, it becomes a spawning ground for terror.
me I don't know nothing Just leave this country boy alone Yesterday I took a walk Down toward the city dump It didn't take long to get there I just walked till I had enough And there at the end of the road I saw Written on an old brown shoe That sun don't fool yourself It ain't getting better Still there ain't nothing I can do But I must do something I can't let go It keeps getting worse And oh don't you know If you don't do something then we serious. Priscilla! 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 I'm coming! He smelled like perfume lately. Priscilla, Jeff is getting impatient. I said I was coming. Hey, look, there's a priest here. Maybe I should tell him about my mom's missing garbage can. Oh, he's there. Ooh, did you call him? Yeah, he's in there. He's in there. Right. Something in the neighborhood getting all through our garbage here. It's bothering us. It's bothering all our neighbors all throughout the whole place here. The whole street is happening. Yes, yeah, sir. We're having several complaints on this. So, can I get your name for the report? Oh, uh, John Kennedy. But uh, what, what are you guys going to do about it? Well, so we're checking into it. And, uh, yeah, we'll but get... you've been checking it off a long time. Boy, that sure seems like an awful lot of perfume. Oh, come on. Oh. Here's a new one for you trivia folks. As if our friends in Milpitas haven't had enough problems, they can add a new one to their list. Listen here. Missing garbage cans. That's right. Missing garbage cans. City Hall has been overwhelmed with complaints that their trash containers have been stolen or vandalized. They also have some heavy interference from the Channel 36 television tower located on the Milpitas foothills. Really? More music now on Keen. Here's the Monster Mash. Boy, look at that cop go. He must be after some of your friends. I 
guess it can't be them. Era grande, un monstro grande, un monstro enorme. Is the guy okay? Uh, yeah, he's okay, but listen to him. He keeps saying somebody stole his garbage. What's going on, anyway? I don't know. Boy, it sure smells around here. Yeah, well, I did my job. The garbage is all yours. Minding my own business, doing my job, picking up the garbage, and all of a sudden it disappears. I don't understand. Mamma mia, I make a mess. Wait a second, my head is full. What do you think, Mike? If that's a real footprint, that thing's got to be at least 50 feet tall. Nothing can be that big. Wow, look at that thing! It's a big thing! It's so bad! Man, look at those footprints! Footprints! Hey. Hey, kids, this doesn't concern you. Go on back to school. Um, could we please look at the size of the tires on that, sir? Uh, do you know what size the uh, uh, speakers are in there? This doesn't concern you. Go on to school. Hey, don't ask us, man. We just want to help. Ah, what's the matter with him, man? The garbage truck gets turned over. He's been driving too fast. This brief moment of tranquility has been brought to you by Nightscape. Relax and sleep better every single night with this and other videos from our free YouTube channel. Learn more by visiting nightscape.co today. Welcome back. We are watching the Milpitas Monster 1976 with Mr. Robert Burl, the director, creator, and Mrs. Stephen Wathen, shall we say the special effects yes. director. And I've got a rubbish bin on my table for some reason. What is up with this? Well, this is a full-scale model of the miniature garbage can that you've got your glasses stuck into. So you gave me this thing years ago as we watch this film, it's this little garbage can from this movie, and you brought a full size. Well, the first one I gave to Bob Wilkins, and he kept it on his table for some time, so. Well, I kept this one on my table for yes. some time so as well. So the Milpitas Monster Movie Makers would like to thank you for keeping that no, it idea. It my lenses. <laughs> All right, so, no, a, um, is this an actual prop from the film? This is from the era of 1970s. From the era, no, I do not want to. <laughs> tell me this was in the, in the movie. I can't lie. It was just one of my students who knew, knows me well knew that I would probably appreciate seeing one of these again. And he had it in his backyard in Milpitas. So you're implying that this is not <laughs> something that's obtainable because I know for a fact I can purchase one just like this. It's a bit shinier at the local hardware store. It's a counterfeit movie prop. Oh. See, I mean, this is the See, real deal. No, 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 he look pedals. He pedals. You're right. He he's pedaling. You know, I bet he's going to put it on eBay for like 17 quid. Well, when, the, 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 look at all the bumps and the pushes here that someone did. It's, somebody got upset with their garbage and they gave it a know, good swift kick. I, I, think, I think we've got to come up with a screening process for props <laughs> on the show because it's a bloody rubbish bin. I mean, is somebody interested in a bloody rubbish bin? You got to put your garbage someplace, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And if then, then if somebody takes your garbage can away, you got a problem. You know, they grow people differently in Milpitas, do they not? <laughs> it's a very yeah, special right, town. Right, they bury yeah. them in those. <laughs> I was, I was going to say, them all you know, we need the <laughs> lid. There's no lid. At least you could produce the lid and say it's a Captain America shield of some kind, right? No? Golly, we left the all lid right, behind. because right. I. So we struck out on props for this segment. Hopefully <laughs> the next segment, we're going to have something far more interesting from the film. Besides a rubbish bin. It kind of looks like that. Doesn't it look You know, this does that. not look nearly as nice as, as my here. prop. You see the handle? Everything? Well, listen to that. 
Ooh, Foley you, stage. You know, you know Robert, you there would you have go. never made it in Hollywood. You, you just would have never That's made it in Hollywood. That's why I said Milpitas. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, off we go. Back to the Milpitas Monster. We'll be back after the next break. See you soon. Line's empty. No fish in here. Food's all gone. Someone's polluting the bay. That's why there's no fish. hydrogen sulfide in it. You think that's bad? Come on over here. All the fish came up dead. Look at this one. Looks like a tumor. Let's get it to the lab and take a look at it. I've never seen anything like it. I don't know what that is. We'll have to send that to Cal Academy. Any results from that sample yet, John? There seems to be a trace of methanol and some other oxygen in it. Well, here's the final test. If it's that bad, we're going to have to take it for analysis. Yes, we should get a gas chromatograph test run on this. Can you have that ready for me in a few minutes? Should be nothing but spring water in that slough. fish in the hole. There's no more fish. Things come out of water.
cans last week. I found garbage all over my lawn. I had to go out and buy two new cans. They cost me eight bucks a piece. You and everybody else. Look, you need your garbage picked up, you call me. If you have trouble with your garbage cans, call City Hall. Yes, Mrs. Robinson, we've got your name on the list and we're looking into the matter now. More missing garbage cans, Mayor. What's up, Deb? Isn't anyone looking into the matter? Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Welcome back. We're going to interrupt the film for a moment because it's scary, right? It's mail time. No, it's, it's a scary film and we have to give everyone a break so that they can regather themselves, right? They're hiding yeah. behind the sofa. Is that's, that what that's you mean? That's it. That's yeah. it. That's what they're doing. So uh, our guests went away for a moment, but they will be back after we do some mail because uh, you, you brought mail. Yes. This is a thing we must do every week. We do mail. So uh, shall we read some mail, Mr. Livingston? We shall. Vancouver, British Columbia. Vancouver, BC. How are you doing, Tangela? You all right? Wish you got a... Oh, not more body parts. My Old boyfriend. At least it doesn't smell as bad as it did a few weeks ago. All right. British Columbia, Steve Richards. He has two first names. Now, that's pretty common in both Canada and America. I don't know why. Do you know why? I do not. Mm. All right. Here we go. Uh, Dear Creature Features, hiya. Is that a word? Hiya? One word? It's a vernacular. Oh, all right. I really appreciated seeing Spider Baby again, Lon Chaney Jr.'s best performance since Lenny in Of Mice of Men. Of Mice and Men. You know, I've never seen that film. Good film. I should see it. Uh, Wolfman doesn't really count. Nice seeing Beverly Washburn. We love her. She's so nice to us, isn't she? Hmm. She's so kind. I didn't remember her in Shane, but I'll watch it again and look out for her. Uh, Tarantula, Deadly Cargo, a dud. 
Blame Tangella as it was her choice. He did not like your film choice. Yeah, it, it's going to happen. It happens to me almost every week, so don't take it personal. <clears throat> I like the film. I think Livingston tolerated it. Could you show the incredible strange creatures who stopped living and became mixed up zombies? Is that one film title? I haven't the vaguest idea. The incredible strange creatures who stopped living and became mixed up zombies. It does indeed exist and is pretty fun. All the best, Steve. Uh, you know, we should look into that. It's a long time. No, no, no. I, you know, I would never repeat that title. I would come up with some appropriate acronym, right? I mean, wouldn't that make sense? Hmm. Right. All right. All right. Next up, Mr. Livingston. Harlan, Iowa. Iowa. It appears. Harlan, Iowa. Oh, it's from the ASPCA. I bet this is a complaint about no, you. No, it's saying they support the ASPCA. Oh, I support the well. What's feeble corn? This is feeble corn on the back. That's the last name of the person who sent the letter. I think it's a word in German. Maybe they're German. Right? No, Miss Rhonda Feeblecorn. Thank you. All right. Uh, she goes to the cast and crew of Creature Features. Wanted to say how much I enjoy the movies. I was 15 when Trilogy of Terror and Gargoyles came out. Uh, now this is on YouTube. Also, back in the 70s, there was Creature Feature every Saturday at 11 p.m., but was hosted by a mad scientist, Dr. Sanguinary. Am I saying that right, Tom? Sanguinary. Sanguinary. He wore green makeup. I enjoyed him as much as I enjoy your shows. I've got to see this. Also, I enjoyed watching Tangela. She's awesome and makes me laugh with all her little pranks on Mr. Livingston and Andrew. I love the setting of the castles. Setting of the castles? What is he talking about castles? I try to watch anything about castles. The one on Dracula, the Impaler, was awesome. Keep up the good work. I'd like to have a t-shirt for XL if possible. Uh, you know, I don't know if uh, we have any t-shirts, right? We have a store. No, no, well, that's all like done like third party. You mm -hmm. know? I, I can't just send you a shirt. I can, I can, I can tell you where to go. CreatureFeaturesStore.com? Yes. Right, right. Go to CreatureFeaturesStore.com. The cheap. And uh, P.S. Love watching the paranormal. Vincent, love your costume. Oh, my costume. How about that? He dresses like this every day. No, he's, he's right, you know. No, unless unless I'm going to, to ride on her goats. And then I wear appropriate goat riding attire. And it's not chaps. I don't chaps. Uh, I grew up in the 70s and didn't know about your band. I'm 62 years old and still love fast cars, hard rock music. I like Metallica, Led Zeppelin, ACDC, and so on. Uh, well, you know, Metallica, Led Zeppelin, ACDC, and so on. You know, those guys, they're all old men. Every single one of them. No, they're all... Don't you point at me when I say old man. No, the only time... The only old man in this house is him. He's it. Old lady. She looks like an old lady, doesn't she? She dresses like one, at least. My dad drove long-haul trucking from Omaha to L.A., Went a couple of times. Was able to see ocean for the first time in my 20s. Can you imagine that? Being 20 years old till you see the ocean. Mm. And uh, seen and spent time on the Queen Mary in Long Beach. I've been on the Queen Mary. You know, I've got a story about the Queen Mary. I'm not going to tell it tonight. But Great. I had a haunting experience on the Queen Mary of all places. You know, it's, a, it's like a hotel now. Right? Yes. Right. All right. Is that it? No, you got a box. We have a box. What's in the box? Things for people. Things for people. Should I let this one open it? Yes, I well, think I shall let this name, one. Right? No, no, no. Well, she can, do, she can do the honors of this. And I shall read what feels like a very thick note. Maybe there's money. You know, we've been getting lots of money lately. It's, it's been wonderful. Well, not I, a lot. No, I open a letter and all of a sudden... Thousands of dollar bills walk out. Oh, look, it's an octopi. All right, well, don't open anything till I read. That was a handwritten note. I'm, I'm going to have trouble with this. Maybe not. Here we go. Dear Vincent, 
Mr. Livingston and Tangella, I'll try to keep this note short. Instead of gushing on about how much I love your show, Great Guests, Movies and Hosts, I wanted to thank you all for the wonderful items you send to those of us who are patron supporters. Getting su surprise gifts in the mail from Tangella is like finding the toy in the cereal box. You know, she does, she does fairly well with that. She, you know, you would think for such an evil little demon, she would be sending like manure or something horrid in a box to our viewers. But no, she sent some actually some nice gifts. Amazingly, right? Amazing. I remember that time she made candy. That was her. She actually made the candy. This was not like, oh, we're going to buy it and say that she made it. No, she actually made it with her own little hands. She can, she can do good things. We just have to make sure he tests it before it goes out to people. Who knows what she'll put in it if she's in a bad mood. All right. Uh, Mr. Livingston's gifts are vintage items. Right. Mr. Livingston's I got while searching for treasures to post in our eBay stores. My fiance Ray and I have two stores, Area 51. Oh, that's a clever name. And the abducted relic. Area I hope he likes them. What are they? Button covers. Like the one you wear on your... Which I collect. Oh, that's wonderful. Show me one. Quite nice. Oh, that's wonderful. No, that's... That's, I think that's made from diamonds, right? No, it looks like Mother of Pearl. Mother of Pearl. You know, I, I want to meet Pearl one day because I've always met her mother everywhere I go. Uh, let's see. Next for Tangella, I have enclosed a few pieces I made many years ago when I was very active in the local art scene. Oh, I like that. It's a small octopi. She shares my love of octopi and all things strange, so I hope she loves them. Looks like she does. And Vincent, you are very hard to shop for, that I am. I am looking for a specific item that I know you will love. I hope I find it before we all die of old age. In the meantime, I've enclosed a small gift for what you. You always say that you didn't like wine because it is too old. This is the youngest wine I could find. Show me the young wine. What is it? Is that liquid in there? What are you doing? Oh. What is it? What in God's name is that? Grape seeds. Grape seeds? Oh, wonderful. You have to plant those. Don't eat them. You know, actually, I like port. I, it's not that I don't like wine. I just don't like, you know, regular wine, right? Right. You know, I live in a place surrounded by wineries, and I don't drink wine, but I do like port. So you can send me a port, if you like. It's got to be from Portugal. Or else it's not real port, is it? It's from just, or Porto. Oh, Porter, right. All right. Uh, thank you again for all you do. If you're ever in Northeast Ohio, we can meet for dinner and discuss old horror movies. Much love to you all. Missy Fuller Gustaval. Uh, well, I'll tell you, Missy, if we meet you in Northeast Ohio for dinner, we are not going to discuss horror films because I do that all week long. We're going to discuss your art practice and the things that you create in your laboratory, right? Right. Right. All right, is that it, Mr. Livingston? That would be it. All right, if you'd like to send us an uh, email, which we did not get any tonight, did we? Uh, send it to the address you see right here. Or if you'd like to send a wonderful package of gifts, including button covers for Mr. Livingston, send it to the address you see right here. We'll be right back with Robert and Stephen, but first let's get back to the Mill Peters Monster. right here in the camera. Well, let's complete this report. We'll get these reports to Dr. Linksford in Washington, and then we'll know. You know, from up in the air, we could see these depressions coming out of the slough that almost looked like foot brakes. 
I used to think this was some kind of a joke. Four. Five. No more five? Gotta be more five. What was that? Oh, that must be George Keister coming into town to collect some bottles. Word is he has a still. Oh, he's got one of them going again. Yeah, that's what the word is. Huh? Okay, I think I'll have another drink. What? Somebody turned out the light. All right, hey. we made it to school again. Yeah. One more day, here we are. Oh, hey, mellow out, man. <laughs> Hey, man, who's the teacher on duty here? Should be Brennan. I don't know. I don't see anybody. Are you sure? Oh, hey, I think it's Colombo. <laughs> hey, this place is dead. We gotta spark this place up. Yeah, we gotta do something to liven it up. Yeah. Hey, I mean, this is our last year. Hey, what about that skunk we did in the air conditioner, huh? <laughs> hey, man, that was great. Hey, that I got great. an idea. Hey, just pull over to our spot and I'll tell you my plan. Hey, we're gonna stink up the whole town. Yeah, yeah. How are you gonna do that? Here's my idea. Remember those footprints we saw over on Windsor Street? Hey, they can't be real. Those are too big. Oh, I know they're not real, but we can make them real. Yeah, monster footprints. <laughs> All over the whole All thing. right! Hey, 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 Brennan, God. quick, spray some Lysol. <laughs> not in my <laughs> face, man. Not in your face, come man. On, come on, it's Brennan. Hello, Mr. Brennan. Morning, guys. How are you doing? Oh, fine, fine. <laughs> Hey, Dad, I think your car's on fire. What, what, my, my car? Yeah. Hey, look, my car's on fire. Hey, man, if I get busted again, it's a military school. Oh, you guys really... Now, up, two, three, four. Okay, clowns, to the office. Ah, uh, busted. <coughs> keep telling you guys, <coughs> don't listen to you me. Take your hat off. <coughs> I told you Dan was me in such a car fire. <coughs> How do I know that? Because <coughs> I ate mine. <laughs> hey, hold it. You guys have been in trouble here for a long time, and we have to do something about it. Oh, <laughs> I may have just the thing for you people. Our football team is beginning its practice season, and I think they need your help. Hey, hey, now wait a minute now. We didn't do anything. That Come on. Hey Priscilla, Mr. Brennan thought the school would be honored if we brought this thing out here. Oh really? We also have the honor of taking it back, so can we try the thing out? Sure, if you think you know how. Pick it up, pick it up. Let's see what hey, this we can work. get this thing to work. Hey, you sure know what you're doing. Yeah, we know what we're doing. You need the blanket. Hey, I think it goes in this end. <laughs> no, it don't. Hey, the Lotus thing. Yeah, hey, I can see your ugly mug, Keith. <laughs> Look at that guy out there. Hey, hey, you guys ready? Yeah, we know what we're doing. Come on, come on, where? Whoa, that thing is loud, man. What'd you say? <laughs> There's Penguin there. Shoot him. <laughs> hey, Penguin. Hey, maybe I'll see you later. Uh, maybe. Hi. Hey, hey, let's get this thing out of here. Okay. okay. We yeah. know it works. All right. Take it on out. Hi, Jeff. Hey, two, three, hey uh, what were you and Keith talking about? Oh, it was nothing. Hey, why don't we go to the carnival tonight? Hey, hey, my mom finds out about this, man. It's going to be the army for sure. Man, every time we do something, you're always grumpy. Oh, it ain't so brave either, sucker. Hey, you want to fall off the roof? Hey, you, hey, you want to go with boy, me? Man. Hey, shh, shh, shh. Come on, come on, let's go. Come on, you guys. Looks like a Bombay hatch. What do you mean? Get in there. Hey, he's now, he's now. My fingers! <laughs> ah! It hurts! Be quiet! Get the sulfur! I'm going, I'm going! Yeah, chemistry guys. Hey, come on, man. 
Let's get out of here. You don't even smoke. Well, it's better than nothing. Let's go on a ride. I really don't think I oughta. Uh, not the way my stomach's feeling, uh, Priscilla. I really don't think that... <laughs> Two tickets, please. Okay, one more ride. Just for you. You like this ride, Jeff. Yeah, I know. I love it. You can take it. No, no. Oh, wait a minute. Priscilla! Priscilla! <laughs> Monster flip <laughs> oh, 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 Not too much, not too much. All right, that's good. Easy up. No, oh, that's too much. All right, that's good. That's good, right about there. That's good. We'll just leave it to you. Do this right. Hey, what was that? Hey, Tuli, check it out. Hey, what was that thing, man? Tuli, check it out. Yeah, yeah, sure. Who made these footprints, huh? What footprints? I thought you did. Oh, really? It wasn't me. <laughs> Isn't that fun? I am not having a good time. I don't think it's so funny. Well, you don't have to be so snotty about it. Priscilla? Gotta be one here someplace. Right, Priscilla, I'm shocked at you. I thought you liked me. Well, Jeff, I'm fed up with you. You really mean that? I thought we were, you know. Well, if you can't learn to have fun, keep this ashtray and sit on it, penguin. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Welcome back to the show. We are watching the Milpitas Monster, or I should say, the Milpitas Monster, with the creators of the film, Robert Burl and Stephen Rothen. And uh, this is much better than the last prop. I, I don't know if you were with us during the last segment, but uh, he, he brought a bloody rubbish bin onto my set, onto the table, no less. But this is much better. This is an actual piece of the monster. It's a piece of the imagination of my students at Milpitas. No, it's a piece of the monster. It's not imagine. It's a, if it did not oh. exist, it would be part of the imagination. Now it's an actual thing, right? It's, it's part of a big, big piece. So if 
the Milpitas monster was a real thing, this would be a, f a claw on a finger, right? This would be like his finger, and this would be the nail. He right? had four of the those claw. on his hand. Four. Four on one hand, right? So it was a cheap movie. They could only afford four <laughs> fingers. So that makes sense. Now, you know, I've seen that as well. I, I've, I've often asked that, you know, and the opposing thumb implies some type of intelligence as well. So uh, you guys uh, made this for the scene coming up. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but there's going to be a full-sized hand, claw, what, what do we call it? Not since King Kong Grabba. has such a film scene been created. Ah, so he mimicked a scene from King Kong. I wonder if you could guess what it is. I bet, you know, we've got smart viewers. They are quite <laughs> intelligent. They know, they know exactly what we're trying to imply. And it's only the small children who won't know because they have not seen the original King Kong. All right, so this is part of it. Uh, what I need to know is where are the other seven? You know, after the film uh, ended with the climactic, um, I won't give it away, an explosion of some kind, there aren't, there aren't many, many pieces left. Oh, so it was destroyed in the making of the this film. This is the one piece we were able to hold on to. Yeah, yeah. right. And, and the bloody rubbish bin, right? Right. All right, we're going to get back to the film, and then when we come back, uh, Stephen is going to tell us about his contribution to the film. We're going to see some models, which are more impressive than rubbish cans as well. So you stick around. We're going to uh, roll the film now, and when we come back, uh, we're going to take a look at another prop, right? Lots of fun. All right, off we go. Back to the Milpitas monster. It's going to get you. Stay with us. Kennedy? Yes, sir. yes I, I've heard that you've seen some of these mysterious footprints You're around. You're darn right I have, and so has everybody in the neighborhood seen it. And he's, we're making up signs, we got them all in the garage, we're going down to that city council, we're going to see what they're going to do about it. We're, we're just about fed up with this stuff. Thank you, sir. Another one of these irate citizens of Milpitas, obviously fed up with all of these mysterious footprints and missing garbage cans. Something is evidently going to have to be done about this. Over here, fellas, it's got that same smell. And look at it. I think it's growing. <laughs> <laughs> 
If those are real footprints, we're getting a lot more help. The Milpitas police have intensified the search, calling in 25 extra reserve units to help locate the source of those giant footprints, which seem to be linked, they say, to those mysterious missing garbage cans. And it gets mysteriouser and mysteriouser. Interference on the all-night movie on Channel 36, whose tower, as you know, is located on the Milpitas foothills, may also be tied into this... this but wait a minute. Something just into our key newsroom. The scientists at the California Academy have confirmed the fact that the water samples taken from the bay are identical to those found around the mysterious footprints. This just into Key News Now, details as they arrive. More music now on KEEN. This is... How, how about just one more? You got any money, George? Well, now look, Joe, we've been friends for a long now time. Look, friend, you've got a bill of $150 here. Now either pay the bill or get out. One or the other. How about just a little itty bitty one, Joe? All right, George, if I give you one little bitty one, will you promise to leave? Or will I ever? You won't see me around here the rest of the evening. See me the rest of the evening. I'll buy you one little drink as long as you promise to leave. I'll leave. for you. Good 
Joe! Joe! I better take another nap. <laughs> What in the world did this? I don't know, Captain. Whatever it was, it was pretty big. Look at this over here, the size of that footprint. They're not going to, police aren't going to be able to cover this up. And look at this over here. And over here. Look at the marks on the wall. I don't know. I just don't know. What in the world could have done something like this? I guess the mayor is going to have to call his emergency task force meeting now. This is Carol from San Antonio, Texas. Just want to tell you that I enjoy the features that you have on Saturday nights. Keep it up. Love it. Thank you. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. Look out, there's something in the air. How'd the lyrics go for that? <laughs> you caught me on the spot. It's been a while since I've listened to that, but that's pretty much what it was. So at the end of the film is a wonderful song. Make sure that you stick around for the credits for this song. Who did that song? That's Robert Berry. He, Robert he, we Berry. did a, a record, uh, 45 RPM. Right. Dining on the City Dump and the Milpitas Monster. And the City Dump we already heard. That's the one at the beginning when yeah, everyone's that, putting the... Right. Rubbish bins out, and right? Piece monster is the closing. I'm and the close, you know, you should, I think you should have done the reverse. Oh, right. Well. Yeah, no, 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 it's a happier song. <laughs> but it is a happy ending, maybe. We'll see. We'll find out. Anyways, look at these wonderful things. So this is from the film, right, Stephen? Yes, uh, those are, that's the actual stop motion animation puppet used in the flying scenes. So this in the is movie. a puppet, and this is a and tower. And this is the, t the Channel 36 tower. Channel Model 36. So there's, this really an, was an actual thing. Yes. In the 70s. You see, I, I suppose it's bigger now, right? Yes, and now it has a, a whole big communications array on top right. of it and stuff. But so this it looks is, different now. This is the one they use for all the scenes where it's not a bloke in a suit. Right. Right, right. And I can see if there's still little strings attached. And this was where you did your magic, yes. right? Right. And using this device. Yes. And so it was suspended from this overhead rig, which is called an aerial brace. It's a term that was coined by a friend of mine by the name of Mark Wolf. And right. We'll about him later. Right. And before that, May animators I? just called them flying rigs or things like that. So but it, the term aerial brace became so popular that even Ray Harryhausen started using it. <laughs> 
my goodness so so the this nautical thing here what does this do well on those three screws that stick out from the sides of right. it the wires were attached to the model so that it would be suspended from that right and then that device rotates right and then it can slide forward and back on a pipe so you can move it in any direction right and so you just animate it incrementally moving how wonderful across the sky and the numbers give you like and those give me a reference point right for right exactly how far i'm moving oh my it goodness. per frame it must have been an enormous amount of work it's requires a great deal of patience right, right. i've used that aerial brace rig for many years for right. commercials and used it on the gumby tv show you use this on gumby yep this touched gumby <laughs> now i love gumby so how long did you work on gumby i worked on gumby for three years when the show was revived in the 1980s how wonderful and then worked on gumby the movie shortly thereafter you know, of all the things, yeah, I, I mean, this, this movie that was shown tonight is quite famous, but Gumby. <laughs> no, I mean, bloody Gumby. Yeah, he could have had Gumby climb this thing. That's right. In the film, that would have been. No, imagine if you made a second one where the monster comes back and he's attacked by Gumby. Gumby versus the <laughs> Milpitas <laughs> monster. You oh, need no, to do it. No. no, no, no. It could be like a YouTube video. <laughs> I, you know, I think thousands, if not hundreds of people Probably will watch it. Probably would sell quite right, well. Right. Anyway. All right, I'm getting the signal. We've got to get back to the film. But when we come back, uh, we've got something else to look at. Maybe, right? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's get back to Milpitas Monster. And we'll see you later. And we will give you the truth. We want to give you the truth. You've asked for help. We've appointed a special emergency task force to consider this problem. I'm on my way to a meeting now of that emergency task force. And if you'll excuse me, we'll find the solution to this problem. We'll find the truth. Boy, those folks are upset. Yes, they were. Glad that you could all make it to this meeting. We've got real problems in our community. All of you already know each other, so we'll get right to the business at hand. I'd like to introduce to you Mr. Dwayne Walls, who, because of his military experience, I have appointed as the director of civil emergencies. So at this time, I'd like to turn the meeting over to Mr. Walls. Well, thank you, Mayor. Gentlemen, I'm not going to dwell on my military experience. We have a problem. Cozy Kitchen has been destroyed. Garbage cans are missing. We've even had a garbage truck destroyed. There is no, there, there's no pattern to the way this thing works. These red spots represent the areas that have been hit. Now, so what are we gonna do about this? We've had dozens of calls. Well, we've already started. 
For the last 24 hours, we've been trying to contact Dr. Lingsford. Dr. who? Dr. Lingsford. He's the world. Hello? Uh, yes. It's Dr. Lingsford. Oh. Hello? Hello, Dr. Lingsford? Yes. Yes. Yes, we understand that you're aware of our problems. <coughs> well, Mayor House, <coughs> can you hear me? What you folks have is the same problem that they had down in Azusa last year. Yes. The what? That's right. And there's no question in my mind, <coughs> there's no question in my mind that we have the solution for you. What you folks need is, uh, what you need is the Odorola. The Odorola? Oh, yes, yes, doctor, yes. Thank you very much. It's on its way by jet. What? The Odorola. What's an Odorola? Oh, you've been to one dance. You've been to them all. Hey, look at that. Hey, hey Priscilla. I wonder where the penguin is. <laughs> hey, you know, the only exciting thing that happens around here is the cozy kitchen explosion or something. Yeah, we could spike the punch like before. Can't get in trouble like before. <laughs> yeah, but everybody would walk around like Stu George. Hey, they say George really saw something last night in the kitchen. Boy, he's really a celebrity. And George is always seeing something. Yeah. Hey, wouldn't it be a gas if we get old Stu George into the dance? Yeah. yeah. We could yeah. tell him he's getting some free booze for his uh, <laughs> pink elephant yeah, or something. That's a good idea. Hey, they said he saw some footprints there, too. No, that's just somebody cutting in on our action. Yeah. Hey, let's go ask the celebrity himself, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> this is going to be great. <laughs> Mayor, excuse me, but the Odorola is here. Oh, it's here, finally, the Odorola. Mr. Wolves, you better take a look at this. Uh, let me see that. Boy, this is fantastic. What's this thing do? It's a, it's a monster detector. Gentlemen, there is no doubt what we have to do now. Hello, this is Mr. Livingston. It would appear I have been tasked with requesting you to help our show financially by visiting our patron page. Your generosity will help us keep Creature Features on the air. With only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new entertainment for your viewing pleasure each and every week. And if you have the desire to give more, you might even receive a gift from Tangella. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you.
Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Angela, would you be kind enough to open the door for me? Thank you. Mansion. We're here to entertain you tonight. Let's start the game going. Somebody here to help us. Yeah, where are we going to find a man, though? Oh, it is. Oh, oh okay. hi. How's the dance going so far? Well, we're glad you're here. It looks like a drunk coming out of the can over there in the corner. Yeah. A drunk? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> hey. yeah, I'll, I'll take a look at it right now. Okay, right? thank you. Good. Oh, here comes trouble again. Okay.
throwing this booze away. Don't make it like they used to. Hey, we're getting a stronger indication over towards the school. Oh my gosh, there's a dance tonight. My kids are there. Come on, let's get after them. Come on, get yourself together. All right, no more penguin. Be a servant. Tell her how you really feel. This is it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get.
Priscilla! Priscilla! Has anybody seen Priscilla? This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Uh, stay tuned. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Welcome back. You are watching the Milpitas Monster. Well, you're not right now because we just stopped the film. But uh, no, no, we've got the creators right here, Robert Burl and Stephen Wathen. And Robert has given me this book. No, he's not giving me this book. He has loaned me this book for a moment because uh, you are covered extensively in regional horror films, 1958 to 1990 by Brian Albright. Yeah, it's the largest uh, story done on the Milpitas Monster. It's an interesting book uh, for a filmmaker, and it shows the history of how the horror film has come into its own. But uh, he, he really honored the Milpitas Monster by he showing it. He spent quite a few pages. I, you know, I, I love this art. Did you create this, Stephen? That, part of it. That's wonderful. Yeah. No, no, it's a nice. David Cotis did part of it, and I did part of it. I yeah. like the way you made the Milpitas monster muscular. Oh. No, it's, it makes them almost like superhero-like. Hmm. Oh, and here's, oh, this is, this is you when you were young. Well, that's, that's one of our props for a parade we were in. Yes, that's. Uh, no, but that's you yeah. as a young man. As a young teacher. School no, teacher. When you, so when you made this film, you were how old? Uh, gosh, it was my fifth year in. I, I think I was about 29. 29. What about you, Stephen? 27, 26. Young men. <laughs> Young men made this film. Oh, here's a scene with the claw, right? Yeah. Now, this is wonderful. My goodness. You know, he's got photos here that you've never shared with me. He's got special treatment. All right. And then, uh, so that's this book. And you've got a book that you're involved with. Tell me about this. All right. It's called Smoke and Mirrors, Smoke. Special Effects Before the Age of Computers. Mirrors. Uh, by a wonderful. friend of mine named Mark Wolf. I mentioned him earlier. He's right. the one who coined the term aerial brace. Right, right. And oh he also goodness. had his own special effects company for many years. But he's probably the best visual effects historian around. This is gorgeous. And I supplied a lot of the photos uh, in the book and did some of the research. And it is full of many, many photos. And it's it's up for a Rondo Award currently. Is this, it's, it's so is this brand new? Him. It's brand new? Yes. We like came out from Just Bear Manor Media. Mm -hmm. Available on Amazon. This is wonderful. It's on Amazon. So go to Amazon and find Smoke and Mirrors Special Eff Special Visual Effects BC before computers. You know, this this is close to my heart because yeah, if if you've watched this program before, you know I'm always complaining about CGI. No, I, do, I don't like it. It's like watching a cartoon. Uh, practical effects. These these are the practical men of practical effects. And this book is, is how much? Uh, I think it's about 40. I think it's worth 80. So you're getting it for half price. Wonderful book. And then uh, what you've got here is, is the our... DVD of this film. Give me, give me, oh, give like me. Let me see. <laughs> look, look at this. It's got two Y. Because it's got the DVD extras in there. Oh, there's an extra. So what, what, what would one find in the extra that they did there's not see? There's a really nice chapter done on animation mm -hmm. by Steve Wathen. Oh, good. And Robert Berry, who did the music. Right, right, right. And, and there's you know, this insert that has photos 
of the cozy kitchen. And we were honored by receiving the congressional record from Washington, D.C. in 1976. What this for? Was, this was written, actually read to the House of Representatives. Uh, and a, a thank you for the city of Milpitas during the bicentennial year, 1976. Uh, yes, that was like a famous time. And that was the time that they honored us in Washington, D.C. with this certificate uh, the, in the congressional record for oh, wait, October. Let me see this again. And that's pretty, nice. <laughs> pretty special. Wait, wait, wait. So this was signed by the president. Well, it's, it's Don, uh, Don Edwards is, a, is, a, is How the wonderful. Uh, representative. So, so this is not just like a famous Bay Area movie, but all the senators and representatives in Washington watch it as well. Exactly. Right. No, no, no. I think that's why, you know, I think if more politicians watched horror films, there'd be less trouble up there, would there not? <laughs> Absolutely. Right, right. No, that's what I think. Uh, well, I, I heard that the House of Lords watches Monty Python continuously. It's on loop. It's so. one of the ways they keep America strong. That's right. Bob, Bob that's Wilkins right. knew that. All right. So uh, to order this, where do we go? Well, you go to our website, milpitasmonster.com. Milpitasmonster.com. Just the way it looks. And there's a, a couple of nice little trailers you might want to see. Crazy right. George does a cheer. That Crazy means. George, Don't he was in the film. Right, right. It's beautiful. And, and then uh, for Stephen's book, you just go to Amazon just, and search for the title, Smoke and Mirrors. And this is a nice, thick book with many photos. So. And this is Amazon as well. And that's Amazon as well. Yeah. Very nice, right. very nice. All right, well, what do you say we uh, wrap up this film and uh, we'll find out what you blokes are doing next, eh? Okay. Oh, All right. Thank God. All right, <laughs> off we go to the finale of The Milpitas Monster. See you soon. Anybody seen Priscilla? She's right over there, sir. That's what made those other footprints. Hey, man, I think you're right. Priscilla! Jeez, look at that. What is it? It must be 50 feet tall. What can we do? Hey, let's go get the cannon. It's a good idea. Does it work? Hey, no, but it makes a lot of noise. It's locked in the janitor's room, but we can go get it. Hey, let's go. Come on. All right. Go. Where is everybody? Pants over? The toy. Gee? Mike? Curry? Over here, man. Let's go. What's that over there? It must be on the other side of the gym. Come on, this way. All right, man, over here. Let's take a look. Hey, listen to that thing. Come on, over here. Over here. Boy, look at the size of that. Holy cat thing! Look at that mother! He's at least 50 feet tall! Yeah, good shit. Yeah, that's the biggest thing I've seen in my life. I can't believe the size of that. What in the world are we gonna do? I don't know. Hey, get this thing out there! Hurry up! Hurry up! Come on! 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 Maybe they can help us. Come on, let's go find out. What in the heck is that thing? That's our school cannon. Does it work? Well, sorta. Well, we used to shoot the lights off the scoreboard. <laughs> if we could just cripple him. Or, or, we have some standing guys. Maybe. 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 Okay, that's how to do it. Let's go put it in the cannon. Yeah, hey, we better not get that thing mad, man. That sucker's big. Gosh, you better hurry. He's moving. I'm gonna crash up. I need something to show it anyway. 
Will hammer work? Oh, good. Perfect, perfect. Hey, hey, you fireman. Do we have a marksman here? Captain Jones has had military experience. Oh, good. Well, I'll do the best I can. Here, let's turn to the left. There, that ought to get him. Okay, now, here's the trigger, right here. Hey, I think I've got something. I think it's got Priscilla. She's my girlfriend. You say it's got a girl? We we thought we heard a scream. Look, a little bit more to the right. Back now, this thing is steady now. Out. Ready? Steady. I can't tell for sure. Fire! Hey, I think we got it. it. Hey, I think the swing's on fire. The girl! It is Priscilla. Hey, look, here comes the mayor. So what's going on here, man? Oh, mayor, I'm glad to see you. This is bigger than I thought it was. We're going to have to call the governor and get a hold of the National Guard. Mr. Mayor, sir, it's got Priscilla. No. Wait a minute. Don't get excited. We don't know for sure. Hey, it's moving again. Hey, look, it's taking off. Hey, here I go. Quiet, crazy. It must be a hole in the wind. We're going to have to follow it. Quick, man, to the high country. Wait, man, to what? Hey, we got to do something, too. Hey, why don't we get your wagon? Okay. Hey, man, you guys just dropped me off my house, okay? Oh, yeah. Well, come on, baby. Yeah, come on, baby. Come on, man, I'm even dead already. Find this thing. Ben, I think he's right over that ridge there. Captain Enos, could you take him in and go in that direction? Captain Jones, Let's could you go. take him in and follow me? Yeah, right behind you. Yeah, you're it out again. Hey, come on, Bring up the rear. Come on. Let's uh, follow the fireman, man. I got warrants. <laughs> come on, man. Wait for me. I'm, I'm right behind you. Just hitch a ride. You can take it. You're getting ready for the army. This is 
is a bummer, man. It, it could be worse. It is worse. I got a bad feeling about this. Hold it. It must be right up ahead. Come on, you kids. Now stay back. I'm just trying to help out, man. We ain't hurt nobody. Hey, who does he think he is, anyway? Look. There it is. Man, that sucks. Hey, notify all units. Yes. Good. It doesn't see us. Come on. Come on, let's stay with these guys. Oh. I'm thirsty. Where's everybody? Keith? Truly? What the devil is that? Oh, I don't believe it. Look at all those cans. Yeah, I'll Get out. Mine there. At least we found the town's garbage can. Come on. This brief moment of tranquility has been brought to you by Nightscape. Relax and sleep better every single night with this and other videos from our free YouTube channel. Learn more by visiting nightscape.co today. Climbing higher up in the hills there. Um, hey man, if you guys were smart, you'd get the copters. Good idea. How about getting the helicopter down? Maybe we can corral it. Oh, and while you're at it, have them get the squad up the eastern side of the mountain. We're trying to get this part of the southern We have a copter coming in. This is Copter 611. We're approaching sector 413 and should have the target in sight any minute. Going to the tower. Oh. Good, there comes the squad. Look, this is a good observation point. I think they'll set up right here. Look at the size of that thing. Look, it's a piece of copter. Now that pilot just stayed just out of its reach. How are we going to get Priscilla? Look, you guys stay oh, back. Maybe Keith's got All an right. idea. Yeah, hey, something. Penwood, come in. Hey, let's stick together. Hey, stay there. I don't want to know we're leaving. Okay. Here, I got an idea. Here. Look through it our way, man. Boy, I hope Keith knows what he's doing. Look, it's getting near the tower. Uh, there's thousands of volts there. Maybe we can force him in there, and, and maybe we can fry him. We'll need some bait. Hey, these look like they'll do just fine. You got your knife, don't you? Yeah. Okay, here's what we'll do. Hey, we'll put some eye holes in this thing up here. Then we can get them, sight them. We can sneak up on the monster there. Uh, are you sure? You know hey, we got to do something. Look, it's reacting to something. What's that smell? Uh, give me those glasses. Monsters after that tent. We've got to use it for bait. Good idea. But what do you see? Oh, no, not Keister. Hey, Penguin, come on! I'm coming, I'm coming. Now do it like me, Penguin. Uh, are you sure you know what we're doing? Get down, Penguin, get down! Hang out. Hang out! Hey, maybe George can help. Look, we need some cable to make a lift to the copter. Yeah, there's some cables in this squad. Good, this can will do perfectly. <laughs> That's great. It'll do fine. Hey, we're far out, man. Now we're getting some action. We gotta bring Keister here. Quick. Oh, well, sure. Come on, George. We, we need your help. Hey, you stink. Keister, you can sleep it. Roger, Charlie. Be over. What's going on? Hey, George, you want to help the town? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, get in this cab. In cab? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, George. Get in the cab. We've got to get this thing up in the air. 
It's gorgeous. You smell like that skunk we found in the air conditioner last year. Out of the barn. Hang on to this. Copter 614 to Sandy Line. Let us know where we're over. Okay, look, I, I just about got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there it is. Go oh, ahead, yeah, take it away. Take it up, take it up and away. What are we going to do when we get to the monster, Keith? Have you thought of that? Get down lower, Jeff. Get down. those glasses what do you see I'm not sure it, it's those kids again somebody help look it's put her down okay that's our chance come on let's go get her I'm, I'm right behind you we've got to do something quick let's get to the squad where are the jumper cables? Right there. Oh, get me the dynamite. Got it. Is that the longest fuse you got? That's all I've got. And it's going to have to do. Hey, come on, Curly. Where are you going, Wiggle? Good. Still climbing the tower. Good, now's our chance. Go. Boy, you stay here. Hey, mellow out, man. What are you doing here? Oh, you gotta come now. Hey, there she is. There we are, Priscilla. I've got you. Yeah. Sure you do, Piglin. That's a lot of current. You know, look, look this one up in that connection over there. I guess we did it. We saved you. Okay, now, now let's take the dynamite, go out and plant it, and also hook up the, uh, the power to the tower, okay? Here, here, give me that cable. George Keister. Here comes Dwayne. It's got Keister. Oh no, the tower's gonna go any second.
Under, must be underneath all that stuff. How are we going to get him out of there? It's going to take us months. Well, what do you do with 50 tons of fried garbage? And as for the Milpitas monster, well, all 20 tons of it was chopped up and hauled back to, you guessed it, the city dump. They said it wasn't the electricity, but the drunk that killed the beast, and that a fitting monument should be erected for their martyred hero. And if you should, by chance, ever travel through Milpitas, there are those who will tell you that old George Keister isn't really dead. They'll say he's still alive and has moved on to better things. Anybody seen Keister? Anybody seen we Keister? We know he's out here, man. He's got to be out here someplace. Have you seen okay, Keister? Get out. Anybody he's seen him? Where's... Hey, something's you? moving over there. Look, Hi, George. Hi, George. It's Keister. I'm thirsty. What's, what's that? What's that strange smell? Who's all gone? Sorry, it's polluting the bay. That's why there's no fish. Seems like it used. To and as for the Milpitas monster, well, he was just a fly in the ointment of life. Look up, look out of sight. Watch what you do and watch where you go, cause it'll be out tonight. Right now, there's something in the air. But don't be alarmed, cause it won't do you harm if you get out of here. The Milpitas monsters on the loose again. Spreading terror through our town. It seems that drunken fools are singing, stalking in the shadows now. But we'll all see him. We all will see him. Milpitas monsters coming on the loose. I, you know, there's not too many monster films that have their own theme song, if you think about it. I, I've never heard the King Kong song. God, no, Godzilla had one. Godzilla, Blue Easter Court did a song for Godzilla, but that's it. It's a, Godzilla in this film had it. And that's the end. And we've got the mini Milpitas monster here. She's got a, she's got a piece of an actual prop that she tore off the cozy kitchen. I think I think she would make a wonderful monster film, like the giant, the giant Tangela monster. Great title. No, like she'd that. have to have octopi legs yeah. to to be the That's monster good. part, or else she'd just be the giant woman, right? If she did it. Anyway, it's a wonderful film. We will show it again in a couple of uh, years, whenever whenever Robert decides it's appropriate for us to show it again, because you know it's his film. I mean, we can't just show it and say, "Oh, Robert, we showed your film." No, he says it's like a whole process where you come up and you bring props and then you bring the reels and then we, uh, you know, bind it up and 
put it on the show. Anyway, it's fun film. We will show it again soon. Uh, what are you blokes doing next? Uh, for me, I've got stage productions of Les Miserables and Legally Blonde and How Fremont. How wonderful. My goodness. Um, so these are all done at the same place? Uh, let's see. Les Mis is at the Ohlone Amphitheater. That'll right. be in August. Right. And Legally Blonde will be at the Saratoga Civic Theater in June. How wonderful. And you're doing uh, a miniature Paris for Les Mis, right? Oh, not miniature. It's... It's large. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, right. right. And then uh, what are you doing in the other production? And the other one is, well, Legally Blonde is a very complicated show, so it's mostly done with fragmentary scenery. Oh. Because you, you just can't fit all of that in a theater. So it's more than just special effects. You're doing actual stagecraft. Yes. Right, right. How wonderful. A man of many tools and skills. What about you, Robert? Well, I'm still making films. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with my Garden Railroad, the G-Scale nice. Railroad. Nice. I've, I've done some blue screen work with it, and I have a lot of fun with that. And you have to use blue because if you use green, the plants will yeah, disappear. If you're outdoors, you need the right, blue screen. Right. That's, that's yeah. a different. You know, most people don't know that. If if you do outside stuff, it's always like a blue screen. The green and the green brush. go together, right. and it's hard right. to separate it. So right. the blue makes a separation between green that's and right. blue. That's right. That's right. That's important. All right. Well, that sounds like fun. Yeah. Absolutely fun. I want to thank you both for coming on the show and showing the film again. And we hope we can have you again soon to watch the sequel, right? <laughs> Maybe? No? We'll see. Anyways, come up. See us again. As far as you guys go, thank you so much for watching the show. We know you could have been off doing something far more productive than watching our silly little program, but you stayed with us. And for that, I love you. Tangela loves you. And Livingston is beginning to grow rather fond of you. We'll see you next week. Different movie, different guests. Don't know what, but it should be fun. See you next time. So, Robert, I'm thinking of coming down to Milpitas to visit and see some of these locations. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. One monster's enough. <laughs> <laughs>